Oh my gosh, guys, it's like the best STEM Sunday. There's such cool space stuff happening right now, but okay, let's see. Let's think about this real quick. What's going on? Okay, first of all, we had two rocket launches, like test launches this month, which was super cool. One was from a company called Alpha, but then the other one was from Firefly, and both of these are like test rockets, and this is just so exciting because it means more people, more companies are gonna be sending things into space, not just NASA, not just SpaceX. We're gonna have rockets all over the place, and it's gonna be super cool, super exciting. What else do we have going on this month? Oh. NASA just gave a $1 contract to Lunar Outpost. That's $1. Can you imagine that? Like a NASA contract for $1. But basically this is saying Lunar Outpost will go to the moon next year and provide lunar resources to NASA and that $1 for those resources. This is really important because this is the first actual time space resources have been traded and are an actual good that you can buy and purchase. So this is really exciting as well. But here we go. Okay. This is the most exciting part. Are you guys ready for this? Inspiration4. I talked about it a little bit. It's this amazing rocket launch for civilians. This is an all civilian crew, which means no astronauts. This is a civilian crew like you and me. Four civilians are going into space on September 15th. That is this month. It is around the corner. It is happening. This is really going to open the door for people like you and me to be able to go to space one day. So this is super exciting to see. They'll be going up on a SpaceX Falcon 9 and this is being covered by Netflix. I know, starting September 6th, there's gonna be like a five episode series covering these four civilians and what this means for space. One of them being Dr. Sian Proctor, who will become the first female African-American pilot in space. And we've also got Haley, who is a uh, cancer, a pediatric cancer patient who is now going to space. And we've got Chris and we've got Jared who funded the whole thing. It's gonna be exciting. Make sure you check out this Netflix documentary. It is going to be legendary okay so the other thing i wanted to go over because i got so many questions from last time when people like okay so i got the, the daisy of the rubik's cube what do i do now so okay so real quick for beginners to catch you up i want to make sure you guys understand this that when you look at a rubik's cube like this you can tell which color the side is by the center square we went over that last time but i think that's really important the center square right here. So that's, that's the white side. This is the red side. And you're like, oh yeah, I get that because it's like red. Well, if you start mixing this up, right? Like the red one will always stay the same. And that's how you know what color is what. No matter how many, like how the edges change. Yellow, whoops. Yellow will always be opposite white. Orange will always be opposite red. And blue will always be opposite green. And you can tell that by the center square. So for all you beginners, that's a good thing for you to remember. Now, this is going to be the more advanced tip that I have for you guys out there. This is a strategy called CFOB. And instead of like, once you learn the preliminary Rubik's Cube things and you get really good at that, you can learn the next step to solve faster and become a speed cuber like me. And that's called CFOB. Okay, so when you do that, one of the things you do is you put the corners, see how I've got my white cross, just like we talked about last time. You can put the corners and the edge pieces in at the same time. Okay, so it's, I know, I know, wild. But this is what I wanted to share with you guys that blew my mind. So I've got one. Let's see. Hold on. Let's get let's get one. First of all, I have, to, I have to get the. Okay, I got it. I got it, guys. There we go. Okay, see how this one? This is red and blue, and then we got the white right here. See, and we got want the white right there. That's that's what we're going for. So this you can get it there in three moves, four moves. It's called the hammer technique. Okay, so stay with me here, you guys. See, like. So it's like all right here and I don't want to like mess things up so I can just go down. So I put the corner exactly where I want it to be, move it out of the way, move this side back up and boom, that's four moves. That's four moves and you've got this entire corner all figured out. All right. So we've got the beginner's technique to like figure out what color's what and the daisy. And if you're doing CFOB, you've got your new technique for if everything's lined up but it's not in the right place quite yet and you can do the hammer technique. So. There you guys go, and um, I hope to see you guys uh, on the Inspiration4 live webpage on September 15th. So that's going to be really exciting, and with that, I think it was a really good STEM Sunday. So we'll see you guys next month. Bye!